all right so i said i'll put a stopwatch this time and i'm putting the stopwatch also i forgot to make the colorations of the ones we've done so i think we'll use this short time to to just do it uh, i'm sorry it's taking into the time i'm supposed to use for you guys but okay let's leave it i'll do it myself before the next video we've made all three by threes now we're heading into the, the next big things, the 5 by 3s and we'll take all of this down, yep, so 5 by 3s, remember those, those notebooks you used as a child that had about two red lines, one green line and all those stuff, what not, that's literally what we're doing again here. You can notice that this is a 3 by 3 and the reason why I have this down here is for there are some letters that go, you can see, some go up, some come down. But I think what we'll do is, let's just do all the ones that go up today. All 3 by 5s that go up. So the first 3 by 5 that goes up is the letter B and the letter B now if you notice something here all the circles are made in 3 by 3 and 1 by 1 every single time it appears it doesn't go bigger than 3 by 3 and 1 by 1 except for Mr. Anomaly which is this guy by the time we get there you will understand why he is Mr. Anomaly that stayed in a very very crazy manner but let's do the ones we can do here yeah. so diagonally again this is like this and the same diagonally this is this and it's disappearing because my strokes are not colored and then bounding box all the way from the top i'm not in a hurry don't be scared I'm not looking at the time, by the time I there to count those 30 seconds, 30 minutes down, but I'm not really looking at it. It's just on the side, you know, for reference purposes, let's try and shrink it down. Yeah, that's good. But we will not spend up to 30 minutes, absolutely no way will I make one video 30 minutes long. That was for letter B. We've not shaded it, so let's shade it. Take the M and like this. Oh, forgot to switch. I will just cut it in like that. And that's that's everything. Like that is everything the letter B is. Remember, we are going to remove the stroke. I think I forgot to remove the stroke for this one. Yes, yeah, so let's remove the stroke. Yeah, it looks orderly now. But the next one is the letter D. The letter D is it's very very simple. These letters are letters that they are simple because I know it very well. And I already understand it so well that it doesn't give me any stress. And I hope it's not going to give you any stress either after learning it from here. It's the same thing as the letter B, but this time you're just drawing this long rectangle all the way from 5 on the other edge. That's that's basically it. There's no other there's no other miracle to it, there's no other magic, there's no sort of Oh, and then I remembered stylized. So basically this is already stylized. Basically, this is this is a stylized letter D. This letter D would occur like this if we made the letter N without this stem and if we made the letter A without this stem but we're not making stylized as usual I would like to remind you we're always making just the basics of them all the basics is simply putting all of this like this oh there's an internal one that is not needed so I forgot to remove it. Simply remove. 
and then oh I forgot I'm supposed to put it together then remove it like this the next upper high end guy is the letter F the F is supposed to be an anomaly or honestly it is not an anomaly it is a uh, it is it is a letter F it's top so the letter F is similar to the letter B and D all you do is whoa I made a huge mistake there all you do is you pick this rectangle from the top to the bottom like this and you know that small stem that comes out at the side so you just put the rectangle but it doesn't go all the way to the edge it stops here it doesn't go all the way to three it stops here like the second box and then how do we do the top some of you might be thinking oh it's the letter f the top is going to just be this too but no or would it be this no again it's not either of this it is actually curved it is actually curved and with a diagonal circle from three by three the three by three this time went upwards and one by one but well, if we do it like that we we'll end up not having a stop point so how do we do our stop point is what you're wondering our stop point now works the same way the N and the U worked. Allow me adjust this particular one here, like this. And this time it's supposed to come like this. This is our stop point. This is where it's supposed to stop. So when I grab it all, use the shape builder tool and put in the right shade, I'll start by removing the unnecessaries. These are all the unnecessaries. I bet you can see the letter now. And then these are the necessaries. So if you wanted to make stylized art, you can see, let's take it all back like this. You can see this is a chance for you to make a stylized art if you wanted to. You come here and say, oh, this is the last box. I'll put one bounding circle here, I'll put another bounding circle that touches two of them like this. Yes. Let me just allow allow me play a little bit with this particular one. I know we don't have much time, but if we were to play with this, you'd see we'd get something like this. Are you seeing what I'm doing? Well, I didn't do it well. I didn't do it well. Uh, sorry about that. Okay, the circle isn't touching this edge very well, but if I was to do it with this particular one, what you see is something like this. To remove that so what you see is something like this you can see it has some fashion to it but like i said we're not making stylized that here so let's just go back to the original basic and make what we ought to make and go so basic letter f the G is not supposed to be up here, it's supposed to come down because, you know, it goes down. The H, the H is, is making the letter N, but this time with a longer um, yardstick. So, I would keep, I'll, whenever, whenever I mention a formal stuff, I'll, I'll put up cards and also have it in the, in the description. So in case you skipped 
here you will have a direct link to the other one rather than having to go through the entire channel looking for it remember this was halfway so i can make it from almost any 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 shape without having to think about it but for you sometimes it might seem like it's confusing while you're just starting but if you if you've practiced this often you realize that it has absolutely no difficulty whatsoever so i, I bet you can already see the letter h because you already know the letter a and now you understand why the letter N was made with this shaft here. Uh, is there any other one? Uh, the letter J is lowercase. Letter L is quite a little bit of anomaly, so we won't be making it here. So does the letter C, also a little bit of anomaly, so we won't be making them here. Alright, so I think we're done with the, the proper, you know, long 5x3 upper letters it's lowercase but you know they hang on the upper side of it the same thing with the k the k is supposed to be among this but we've already made it before so this is all of it catch you all on the next one where we'll work on the the ones who hang under that's the underhangers the lower guys that's uh any other one apart from these ones <laughs>